In this video, I'm going to show you how I went down the rabbit hole of getting as close to an ID for my Oncidium Alliance Orchid that I got from Insa Orchids and ADD back in 2022. I hope that this process and the details I was looking for in the blooms as well as the leaves of my orchid and compared them to what I saw on the Google will help you to identify your orchid to some degree as well. Know that when it comes to hybrids, nothing can ever be 100% with this process, but we can get so close that I was comfortable enough to make a tag for her. Thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate you carving time out of your schedule to spend it with me and the channel. Now, having a channel was an advantage, of course, because I posted some images on the community page and asked if anyone would give me a heads up on the ID of this orchid. But even if you don't have a channel, maybe you're on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter where you can do the same, plus many other platforms you may be on as alternative to YouTube. It is always a good start to see if anyone can give any leads, and it's probably a time saver as well. Best case scenario would be if someone comes right out of the gate and gives you the ID without you having to go digging any further. If someone gives you an ID though, and you want to be 100% sure that it is what you have in your collection, type the name provided into Google, click on images and see what comes up. You can match the blooms you see on the internet with yours to confirm, or maybe you see some details that do not quite match, but you have a lead which you can explore further if you so choose. Without a lead to work with, what I do is type in the genus I believe the orchid is, Oncidium Alliance or Cattleya Alliance, just to name a couple, and then I describe the bloom. Star-shaped or rounded, small, medium, large, the colors of the sepals and lip, even the structure of the lip, is it stiff or ruffled, large or small? So before I posted the images of my Oncidium, my search looked like this. Mil Miltonia Sunset Hybrids. Even though I just mentioned all those details, yeah, we'll get to that. Anyway, with that search, I did come up with some Mil Miltonia Sunsets, of course, at the time, but that is not the bloom that I have. I used to have a sunset, I lost her, so I know what her blooms look like, especially with that waterfall detail in the lip, which is so distinct. I also know what the orchid looked like and that it is not what I have in bloom here. I also know what the leaves and the pseudobulbs looked like and that is not what I have here. However, because of the striking similarities to the Mil Miltonia Sunset, I figured that it would be my best go-to. Despite color forms being different and it could still be the same orchid, the differences being so stark with the colors of the petals and sepals of the one that I wanted to identify, as well as the coloring of the leaves, it was clear that what I had was not a sunset. Close, but no cigar. If you do not have anything to compare with as a start like I did, the memory bank of the Mil Miltonia sunset, type in the details of the bloom, the genus you think your orchid is, as I mentioned earlier, and see what pops up. So after having done an initial search, I went to social media, posted the images to the community post, and then I had several suggestions, one of them being repeated in several comments, and thank you to all those that did leave comments, much, much appreciated. So there I got the lead that it could be a hybrid with Miltonia regnellii as a parent. And from there, my search changed to the following. Miltonia regnellia hybrids. And well, again, I got Miltonia sunset or Mil Miltonia sunset and a lot of them. So you can imagine my eyes went a little googly eyed from all the sunset blooms. They were beautiful, but it is not what I was looking for. But don't rely on the first page that you see. That will only show you the first and most popular hits. Keep scrolling down to see what else comes up. Eventually, you will see a bloom that has more similarities to yours, and that is when you click on the image to enlarge it. Have a closer look. If the quality of the image at that size is not ideal, click on the site that this image came from and see what you come up with. Eventually, after much scrolling, it turns out I found a similar bloom to mine. I needed to see a bloom that has very pale yellow petals and sepals that also had a pink blush on them toward the inner part that meets the column. But what I was still a little stumped about was the fact that I saw the color similarity. However, my column was baby yellow and did not have a pink 
splash on it. So you see the minutia of detail that you need to look at to confirm if your orchid has all the attributes that you see on the image is of importance. But despite that little detail being a little off, I had a name that I had not seen before and it started with Honolulu. Shout out to everybody in Maui that was affected by those devastating fires. I watched it. I hope that you are doing okay. Know that you are in my thoughts. Anyway, I got the name Honolulu, and knowing that there would be variations in the hybrids, I was not about to exclude that name that I found. So the next thing I did was to see if I could find an image of this orchid with the bloom that matched, so that I could see the whole plant. I used Miltonia Honolulu in my next search, also because I needed to see the leaves, and that is what you can focus on as well. If the bloom is so close to being what you have, but you're not 100% sure that you have found your orchid, then type the name of the orchid that resembles yours into the search bar, and you will get a much more targeted result. And that is where I found one image where I could see the leaves of the orchid, not clearly, but good enough. It confirmed that I had the same thin oncidium leaves, including the deeper green color. So the size of the orchid that I saw and matched mine with also had the same foliage look about it. Remember though that different light exposure our orchids are grown in can make the leaves a little lighter green or darker, but the structures and the shape will be a match. Turns out I was eager beaver and it took me a little longer to narrow down what my orchid was because of that pale yellow column that I had initially and the pink column in the images I saw on the Google threw me off. If I had waited a couple of days longer to search for the ID of my orchid, I would not have had to look that much further. But it is a good example of what you can do to double check any discrepancies you may see in the bloom by looking at the structure, size, and color. So, lo and behold, a couple of days later, the blooms of my orchid matured and the pink blush around the column appeared. The pale yellow disappeared. Without having any official ID done on this orchid, I am 99% confident that I have a Miltonia Honolulu by Nautii. One last search or confirmation step was me going to Orchid Roots, typing the name in in full, and seeing what came up. The results on that page prove that there can be varieties of the same orchid with different characteristics in the bloom, but the variety that I have is also clearly represented here. Now, there are many other avenues you can take to find the ID of your orchid, but I hope that the layout of how I went about it gives you a starting point, just in case you find yourself in a similar situation. Also, if you have looked into finding the ID for your orchid and have additional tips that you would like to share, please do so in the comments. Thank you. And would you please like the video? I would appreciate that so much as well as subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Thank you for your vote of confidence as well. And last but not least, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.